Stay black in America. Don't leave, don't go anywhere. Greatest country in the world for a black man or a black woman. Our economy is just within the United States of America. It's the 15th greatest in the, in the world. Hopefully we can move that up, man, and get in the top 10. This in the United States of America by itself to make America even greater. So um, here we go today. I want to talk about the so-called insurrection, January the 6th, uh, 2021. Was it an insurrection or was it just a, a mob thing? Uh, estimated it was maybe between 2,000 and 2,500 people. Uh, mostly all um, white Americans, Caucasian Americans, uh, really passionate about the president at the time, Donald Trump, uh, converged on D.C., did a bunch of structural damage, uh, disrespected the Capitol, but th these are these are American people, American citizens. So, you know, you just give them a smack on the wrist, which pretty much, I think, kind of like happened, kind of pretty much a smack on the wrist. Not really a, an insurrection type of, you know, re return action. Uh, you know, people like to say, um, you hear black people say it's a black thing, other people can't understand it. Well, this is a white thing, you can't understand this, because I've always felt, uh, you know, I took time to think about it and pause about it. I can say it's been over a year. I said to myself, if those were black people who hooked up together and, and ran toward the Capitol, I think it would be the bloodiest day in Washington, D.C. history. I think that the, the response from the Capitol Police, all this fighting and wrestling, and nobody getting shot and killed, so I think one person. That police been hitting damage, and holding, holding those guns and rounds back. Those have been uh, black black people, black Americans doing that. And I think, again, I think it's been the bloodiest day in, like, D.C. history. So, let me see. So an uh, insurrection definition is a, a, a violent uprising against an authority or a government. Couldn't hardly be insurrection, could it? I mean, 2,000, 2,500 people? I mean, really? A mob, a large crowd of people, especially one that is disorderly and intent on carrying out trouble or violence. Pretty much a mob, man. Well, a small mob, not really, you know, they make it look good on sensationalizing on news and make it look real big and real exceptional, all this kind of stuff. But, you know, a lot of people died afterwards because what, I guess they were out of shape maybe, I don't know, traumatized, uh, un unbelievable, but that, you know, it could happen. But uh, it seemed like to me, man, intelligence picks up a lot of different things. And somebody, kind of somebody knew this was gonna happen, man. Wanted to kind of show out a little bit. So again, I say, man, this is white people showing out a little bit, a little mob, a little discontent. You had police in the crowd, ex-police, ex-military, had all kind of people mad, you know, upset that uh, Donald Trump, you know, lost the election. I mean, you didn't see the same response when, when Hillary Clinton lost to Donald Trump. Um, the estimates here is that she had the popular vote, but over, she had 2.9 million more votes than Donald Trump had, but he had the electoral votes. So it wasn't a big uprising, nobody running to the mall and protesting him becoming president. Well, this was an or, orderly transfer of um, power, you know. So I don't know why this couldn't be. Uh, Donald Trump's more of a showman, you know. He's more of a sore loser, likes to win. So uh, I guess you got that kind of response from the people who were passionate and follow him as well. So um, I, you know, I look at it, man, like another another little glitch in history that uh, truly defines the difference between uh, Caucasian or white Americans and uh, black Americans or Latino Americans or any other kind of somebody else. You know, the response that you get, even a time response to things. So, man, like I said, keep, uh, stay black in America, don't go anywhere. Don't believe the hype. Greatest country in the world for a black man or black woman. I still think that, always will think that and believe that. Great country. Even 60 some years before the uh, Civil War, uh, some of the founding fathers, man, freed 250,000 black Americans and bought land in Africa and the country now is called Liberia. I mean, whole, whole bunch of wonderful progression things, civil rights knocked in the door. We know, we know, went through, uh, you know, slavery, went through uh, Reconstruction, went through Jim Crow laws, and went through all types of red line and, and, and sinful things, you know, and evil things of, of uh, segregation. But uh, still we rise, man, so uh, keep on moving on. You know, an another note is that uh, the Caucasian or, or white population in the United States, they say is 57.8%. The Latinos are... 18.7 uh, the black is like somewhere around 12.1 going it used to be 13 percent going like 12.1 oh i think one time it was 14.4 now it's like 12.1 so the percentages are going down i mean it's kind of like a you know trade-off you know you got a lot of people coming when they say latinos man you got 
everybody come from Central American nations, it's not just one sect of people. You got people, you got countries of people coming here, which which automatically picks up the, uh, you know, the representation, clocking them all together. I don't think so. I don't think the, I don't think El Salvador want to be clumped together with uh, Costa Rica, and I don't think a Panamanian want to be close together with Guatemala. I think they all different country, different people, but come to America, they just clump you all together, man. Put you in the clay together. You are the same. So, I mean, it's amazing how these demographics go, man, but uh, it's just the way it is. But uh, definitely, man, was, was, to me, personally, I don't think it was an insurrection. I don't think the government was ever in jeopardy. Uh, mob, you know, mob, you know, just emotionally attached, going crazy, you know, one or two days of craziness, you know. Yeah, thank goodness they were, um, White and Murray and not black. Again, I say it's been the bloodiest day in Washington, D.C. history. <laughs> you know, so uh, so remember, that's a white thing. You can't understand it, and, uh, and you better believe it. Uh, so uh, that's what I got to say. Subscribe to my channel. Uh, thanks for watching. Stay black in Murray. Don't go anywhere because it is the greatest country in the world for a black man or a black woman. Bye.